Hi everyone. Happy, what day are we on? Tuesday. Well, today we're going to make some really cute, really large. Let me grab this one here. Snowflakes. And these are made using, let's see if that'll stay, um, average lunch bags. So let's get situated here. And what you're gonna do, it's really simple. Heat up the glue gun. Yours may not look as dirty and used as mine, but mine's been through. That's probably 10 years old, but it's a, look at that glue everywhere on it. Crafty Magic Milk, low heat so you don't burn yourself as bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what we're gonna do, and I've started this just so we don't take a long time. Um, we're gluing the sacks together. So, heat your glue gun up and then glue it on the bottom. And you're going to want to glue it, <clears throat> excuse me, um, across the bottom. And that'll help it stay together once you fan it out. Put all of your sacks together in the same order. Okay. So you're just going to glue them like that. And there's a total of eight. That's why we have more glue, right? And just glue it together. And this is number eight. So just like that. So we've got eight sacks that have been glued together. Now, our next step is gonna be to cut I have St. Bernard's wanting to help us here. So you want to catch your snowflake design. Now one option you can do is pre-cut it and then line them up. Because this is this is really thick, but it still works. So we're going to start off at the top and we want to cut it asymmetrically and give it a good, have to push pretty hard. There's that and turn it over and do this point. And this is why if you want to cut it separate, you can, just make sure the patterns are the same. So get that out of the way and move the glue. Now we're gonna go in and cut a couple of, now leave a little bit of a gap here to make sure they stay together. And these ones aren't as deep on the inside. And you're just gonna cut those. Okay. A little twist and a yank in there. And do one more. So we'll start from that one. So it is possible to cut through all eight with a good pair of scissors. Definitely couldn't use my small scissors to do it. And spin it around. Now we're gonna mirror what you just did here. Okay, so same thing. A little gap. Now, if you have access to white lunch bags, which you can get in the probably the cake decorating areas, um, uh, cake supply place, uh, but we just picked these up at Walmart because we didn't care. You know, it didn't matter if it was brown or not for me. And one more cut. I'm just gonna go out of the way. Get that a yellow lip. So there's that's what you're gonna have. You have your big cut, and this one, obviously, I didn't get very straight, did I? Um, but as straight as you can. 
Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to take the piece of twine because you got to have a way to hang it, right? So let me get that. One second here. Seems like I'm tying it in a bigger knot. So you can use whatever you want to hang it. I'm just using some twine here that I had laying around. Possibly. <laughs> okay, there it goes. There we go. And it doesn't take much. I'm going to cut that off. That's too twisted for me. Take a small piece. And I'm going to do a squiggle here. Actually, that was probably too much glue, but I don't know that there's ever a thing is too much, right? Unless it's oozing out. Okay. Pull that up a little. There we go. So that'll hang out so you can hang it. And actually, I want it up there. Try to hang it towards the center because that'll make it hang a little nicer for you. Now all we're going to do is take the glue and let's close it up. So you're gonna do a glue this way, and I'm gonna add some glue along the bottom to keep it closer together in the center. Then we're gonna take it, and we're gonna bend it together. Kind of pull it apart here. And this takes a little wiggling with, but we want to get it. Sometimes the bags fight with you a little, but it's okay. Just keep working with it. Pull them together. Whoops. Okay, it does help if you kind of open it up a little first, because what's happened, as I was cutting, I was pushing the papers together. So just kind of spread it out a little. We'll re-glue it. Not a big deal. There we go. Come back here. I do it again, add some more glue. And bring the pieces together. Can't really lay it flat. Oops, keep it in front of the camera. Sorry about the dogs. And I put my hands inside because they are bags, right? And just kind of push them together. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. If it takes too long to push it together, just add some more glue. Okay. Just hold it in place for a second. I actually hung that in the wrong spot. See, that's where live videos just kind of make it harder. Huh? So I'm gonna pull that out. That's my error. So now just go around and bluff and fix your that ones. There you go. And then I come back through as well and see how the center is still a little open. I come back through and just 
add a little glue, squeeze it together, because I want my snowflake to be solid together. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to rehang. I know this one's really hard to do on the camera because it's so big. I'm going to rehang. I'm going to find one of them. There we, that looks like a really good one. And I'm going to put the glue here and stick my cord and bring it together. A little hot. There it goes. So that is a giant snowflake made out of eight lunch bags. And just go through and buff it up. Now I also have from all of the cutting of our craft boxes we sold, we got some extra snowflakes. So you could add a snowflake to the center if you wanted. Just to finish it a little more. You could spray paint it. You could spray it with glue. Use a spray glue and sprinkle glitter on it and make it nice and sparkly. But for a few cents, you can make these giant, gorgeous snowflakes to hang around for the holidays. So hopefully you had fun. Um, you saw how, you know, there's, there's some challenges, opening that up and gluing it. Um, and I think that's just because the confined area that I'm trying to do this in. So if you had it on your table, it would go great. So again, you're just doing this with, I think we'll have some here, eight bunch bags, hot glue gun, pair of scissors, and some string. Now you could use a pretty ribbon if you'd prefer, um, that's up to you. But hopefully you enjoy these and make a couple to hang around your house for the holidays. I wouldn't put them outside, uh, but you can hang them around the house for a Christmas party or a family gathering. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful day, and I'll try to do some more uh, simple crafts with you guys coming up here. Bye-bye.